Hi everyone, welcome back to Abra Nale channel. Today we are going to talk about ISO 19011. That is a standard for auditing, guidelines for auditing management system, right? The version is latest version, 2018 version, right? Uh, in the past video, we talked about the class number 5 and this video will be talking about class number 6. Class number 6 is all about conducting an audit has got the subclasses, there are seven subclasses it has got. I will quickly read it out for you. The first class is the general and initiating audit, that is 6.2. 6.3 is preparing the audit activities. 6.4 is conducting audit activities. And 6.5 is preparing and distributing audit report. And 6.6, completing audit. 6.7, conducting audit follow. Let's talk with the general audit one. As you all know that auditor will not be able to do an audit for his own, his or her own function. For example, I belong to design. I will not be able to conduct an audit for design function, right? So, and then it also talks about uh, in the general, like auditor has to be professional and some of the ethics and uh, the confidentiality and all of these things being spelled in audit report. Uh, general. Then it talks about the inter. In, uh, there is a 6.2 that is called initiating audit. Initiating audit, uh, one must be very uh, careful. Uh, while initiating the audit, uh, there is a plan, the audit plan, the closing, the opening meeting, right? In the opening meeting, the all uh, who are all the auditor will conduct the audit. Whether those auditor are competent auditor, whether those auditor are certified auditor, we, we need to check. And what is the classes the auditor, for example, design, for design what are the classes, for manufacturing what are the classes are applicable and all that you need to check, right? And then prepare an audit checklist. And now look at that, audit checklist alone will not be helpful. Sometimes the only drawback of audit checklist is, sometimes you will be confined to only that checkpoint, right? So always prepare the checkpoint and then also have an open point, right? That's the reason the same standard. ISO 19011 and uh, it, it also says that how to conduct the how to take the sampling right in one of the sampling which we will be talking in the upcoming video in detail in one of the technique it says that you take up a follow up and in an annexure annexure 6 it talks about it it says that you take a previous audit report and see that what are the audit findings are there and then any improvement being done any breakthrough changes been happened uh, is there any customer change? All of these things you need to take into consideration. That is a one, one quick thing which you can do. Now you are conducting an audit. That means you have the previous audit finding and also you have the checklist uh, with you. And also their processes. Read the procedure, read their processes and have a go and do an audit. And then you have uh, the preparing the audit activities that includes that's what i basically talked about the planning and uh, how you while conducting an audit and you can just amicably agree the timeline between the auditor and auditee and uh, and also like if the auditor is been having some other issues for example there is a custom complaint came there is a power issue there is a, too much of people are, are on leave and all that then you can just have a justification and then postpone the audit not too long but you can postpone the audit this can also be there but if the RDT and under difficult situation, then do not carry out the audit. The main intent of the audit, you need to just tell them that this is the fact-based audit, not fault-finding audit, right? So that means you are trying to help them whether the system in place or not. And also while doing that, you are also giving that clear-cut notification or the statement that if the audit does not have any non-conformity, it does not prove that your system is perfect. At the same time, if you have got any non-conformity, it does not prove that your system is bad, right? So audit is all about sampling. In the upcoming video, I will be talking about the sampling one as such. So then you have the you know the 6.4 conducting an audit while you know while reviewing it and all that. One of the points which I wanted to highlight is <coughs> in that same standard, it talks about we have given two eyes, two air and one mouth. That means, that means we need to observe, we need to listen more and speak less. During the audit, speak less 
and that means 1 is to 5 that means one, only 20 percentage you need to speak and remaining 80 percentage you have to observe you have to listen and if something you are not able to get it you can you can ask them to restate it right that's what it, it talks about it and then actually once the audit has been completed and if you have any questions do not release the audit report have a uh, have a discussion so this is the summary of the audit i have found out two minor non conformity why this non conformity you can support back that you know this is the standard requirement or this is the level 1 procedure requirement or this is the level 2 procedure requirement what is the requirement everything you can spell out and you call it out neatly this is the requirement and because of that uh, non fulfillment this is the reason it is been non conformity and observations and all give a clear cut one and no withdrawal right for example let's say uh, no i will just close that audit finding uh, immediately now that we cannot withdraw it what is been observed during the audit that is full and final right at the same time what do you change it to an uh, nc to an observation then you can say wherever you have word called shall that is a requirement right you will not be able to do that if, if you have any strong reason that is not fulfilling the requirement then you will not be able to change from non-conformity to observation wherever you have you know you see uh, there is a the standard is not uh, calling for it and then their own procedure calls for it and but that is not still compromising this the system then you can release them as observation but one must be very careful if you need any uh, you know any suggestions you can take uh, you know lead uh, the auditor lead you can take their suggestions and uh, take a final one and before once the audit gets completed everything you can release the audit report in amicable discussion with the audit okay and then what happens actually preparing the distribution audit report so once you you can copy and uh, and whomsoever relevant functions like training i mean the, uh, the quality functions or the RDT, RDT manager and so on you can just keep them in copy and while distributing the audit report again you can say you can verify the audit report whether you have captured all the non-conformity and all that uh, whether the, all the detail even if the, it is for the your conformance make sure that you have you have the all the information with you all the facts with you which is supporting to confirm that particular one is the, con uh, the conformance for example we will take an example quality objective quality objective you saw you, you did an audit you saw the quality objectives in place and they are aware of the quality objective they are measuring the quality objective they are monitoring the quality objective then you can say so what you saw what is the value of that and everything will note it down right and then the last and one is completing the audit while completing you can again you can thank back and then you can recall and you can just summarize what you have found while summarizing it you start with the positive note right and then you can start with the observation then finally if you have any non-conformity we can start it and then the last one is conduct audit follow-up for example you can give a timeline uh, let's say non-conformity you need to close in one month or observation you need to close in one month whatever the timeline you can agree upon it and have it do a follow-up follow is there any assistance you need it now that you can ask it so once the audit is follow up make sure that uh, uh, the, you conduct the effectiveness of the audit uh, also after two months three months whether the system in place or not and uh, that you can check it i hope you enjoyed this video please do like share subscribe to my channel you have wonderful day